Okay, we are going to find the slope of the line tangent to this curve at this point. Well, the y is not isolated, but don't worry, we can use implicit differentiation. Let's go ahead and put down d dx, and here we go. Right here, differentiating x squared, this is just going to give us 2x, and then we add differentiating y squared, bring the 2 to the front, and a y, and a minus 1 right here, right? But don't forget, we have to multiply by the derivative y because of the chain rule. And then that's going to give us the dy dx, like this. And then we continue. This is equal to, well, we have this quantity to the second power, bring the 2 to the front, and then minus 1, like this. So we have 2, and the inside stays the same right here. We have 2x squared plus 2y squared minus x raised to the first power. But the chain rule says we have to multiply by the derivative of the inside. Well, the derivative of this term is going to give us 4x to the first power, and then the derivative of this, bring the 2 to the front, so we add the 4, and then don't forget subtract 1, so we have y to the first power. But again, multiply by the derivative of y right here. So that's going to give us the dy dx. And the derivative of negative x at the end right here is minus 1. So this is what we have. Now, pay attention to the question. It's asking us to find dy dx at this point. So it's much better if we plug in x equals 0 and y equals 1 half into all the x, y, and then solve for the dy dx. Much easier this way. So have a look. So x is 0, so we have 2 times 0, and then we add 2 times the y is 1 half. And then we have the dy dx right here, and that's equal to, and again, just pretty much do the rest. So we have 2 times 2 times 0, square plus 2 times 1 half, and we square that, and then minus 0, and then to the first power, and then multiply by 4 thanks to the 0 seriously. Otherwise, the computation will be outrageous. <laughs> plus 4 times y to the first power. This is not the prime, this is the first power, right? Just to emphasize, this is the first power, right? All right, y is 1 half, so we have the 1 half, and then the dy dx is the one that we're looking for, and lastly, we have the minus 1, like this. So that's cleaning things up. Of course, 2 times 0 is 0, and 2 times 1 half, this is 1, so that's dy dx right here on the left-hand side. Well, for this quantity, you see that this is 0, that's 0. 1 over 2 squared is 1 over 4 times 2 is going to be 1 over 2, right? But 2 times 1 over 2, actually, let me write it down. We have 2 right here, and this right here is, again, from here, we get 1 half. And then right here, this is 0, and this is 2. So we have 2 right here. I'll just emphasize it like this. 2 times dy dx, and then minus 1, like this. Well, 2 times 1 half is 1, so this is very nice. And we see that we have dy dx equals just 2 dy dx minus 1. And again, we have to solve for this dy dx. Perhaps we can move this to the other side. So minus 2 dy dx, right? So remember, this is subtracting 2 dy dx on both sides, just like the good old algebra. So that this and that cancel. This right here is like 1, 1 minus 2, right? So it's negative 1, and then, of course, you keep the dy dx term, and that's equal to negative 1. Yes, in the end, divide both sides by negative. So that will tell us dy dx is equal to positive 1. So, yes, we did all this just for the 1. That's it.